Hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I'm gonna show you how to download and view sentinel image using google earth engine and arcgis so let's get started so in this video we're gonna download our sentinel 2a image in google earth engine and view it in arcgis so to first let us load our sentinel 2a image in google earth engine so to load a sentinel 2a image in google earth engine we defined a variable called image equals to w dot image collection Copernicus S2 SR that is surface reflectance so next we're gonna filter with a specific uh, timeline that is we're gonna filter with a specific date 2020 January 1 to 2020 December 30 so next to get an image with the least cloud contaminated image we're gonna define dot filter double dot filter LT cloud pixel percentage so here we are mentioning 10 in order to make sure that the cloud contamination is less than 10% so next we're going to filter with a specific study area so for that we define dot filter bound roi so here the roi represents our this particular polygon here so this is our polygon which represents our study region so in the so this particular square box which represents our study region which is defined as an roi so to define an roi that is to create a polygon you already uh, you have to use this option called uh, draw a rectangle so now let me click this so you can draw your own study region just by simply you can uh, simply you can just draw and uh, so now we have drawn a rectangle suppose you want to change the position of this particular uh, rectangle so make sure that you turn off the editor so which is indicated in the bold color turn off this editor and you can click this and drag to any part of your study region to download that particular part of that satellite image so likewise you can uh, drag to anywhere so to download that par part of the satellite image so suppose you want to delete one of the one of the polygons you have to click this polygon so click this option called delete so likewise you can create a polygon around your study region and download only the particular part of the satellite image so now here the roi here represents this particular study region so now next so now to view the property of this image you can uh, define as a print image here the image represents our sentinel 2a image which represents this particular variable so next we have to set a visualization parameter for our sentinel 2a image so for that we defined a variable called visparam true that is visualization parameter true color composite equals to bands uh, we are using band 4 band 3 and band 2 so with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 2500 we are setting a gamma value around 1.1 so next to add this layer into earth engine we define map.add layer image so image refers to this particular variable our sentinel 2a image and here the vis params true refers to our visualization parameter for true color composite and output the layer name as sentinel 2a image so vis params true represents this particular variable where we have defined our visualization parameter as a true color composite band 4 band 3 and band 2 represents true color composite so next we're gonna add another layer that is our roi layer so we're gonna clip this part of the study region and we're gonna export to our google drive so for that we define this layer map.add layer image so image refers to a sentinel 2a image dot clip roi so roi this is our roi and uh, we define a visualization parameter this params true represents our visualization parameter and output the layer name as study area so next to center our uh, layer so we define map dot center object or i with a zoom level of 10 we are specifying the zoom level of 10 next we have to export our sentinel 2 image to our google drive so for that export to drive so export dot image dot to drive and we are giving images image that represents this particular variable image dot in 16 function and description we are using a sentinel 2a Chennai so that is this particular study region is Chennai so for that I have defined as a, a description of sentinel 2a image that is sentinel 2a Chennai with a scale of 10 uh, 10 that is a uh, sentinel 2a image the band 4 band 3 and band 2 is of 10 meter resolution for that we are specifying the scale as 10 and region so there is ROI so this part this is our region that is our region of interest and we are setting the max pixel value to 1 is to 10 power 13 so now let us export our uh, sentinel 2 image to a google drive so for that you have to click this option called run script so 
So now you can able to visualize we have uh, two different layer one particular is representing our study area so let me turn this off so this part of the region represents our study area satellite image so let me turn this off so now you can able to view that and similarly the second image is represents our the sentinel image for the entire study region and that is for entire chennai the sentinel image so you can able to visualize distinguish between the two layers so now to export, we are going to export this part of the study region. So we are going to export the only this part of our Sentinel 2A image. So for that, we are going to go to the option called the task. So in that, we can uh, can able to visualize that there is an unsubmitted task. There is an unsubmitted task called Chennai uh, Sentinel 2A Chennai. So to run this, to that is to export our Sentinel 2A image to our Google Drive, we have to click this option called Run. So here a new initiate a new task has popped up saying initiate an image export. So we have our task name as internal 2A HNI with a spatial reference system that is a coordinate reference system and uh, the resolution of 10 meters. We can export to our Google Drive. So in GeoTIFF file format. So click this option to export our internal 2A image to our Google Drive. So now we can able to visualize the task section of unsubmitted that is submitted task the internal 2A image. Is getting exported so previously we have exported the sentinel 2 image it took around two minutes to export to our google drive so let's wait for some time so now we can able to visualize our sentinel 2a image so our sentinel 2a image and has been exported to our google drive so now it took around two minutes to export so let me open in my drive so now we can able to visualize our uh, sentinel 2a image and has been exported to our google drive here so let me refresh it. So now we can able to visualize here our Sentinel 2A image and it has been exported to a Google Drive. So to download this particular image from your Google Drive, all you have to do is right click and click this option download. So we're scanning for virus. So now uh, let me select the location to download our Sentinel 2A image for Chennai. So I have selected a, a location. So now let me save this. So here you can able to view that. So it is around 51.1 MB. So now let me open in ArcGIS. So now we are currently in ArcGIS. So let me add our Sentinel 2A image into our ArcGIS. So click this option called add data. So click this option called add data. So now let me select my Sentinel 2A image. I have. Uh, so I've selected my folder location where I have, where I have uh, downloaded my Sentinel 2A image. So let me click this Sentinel 2A Chennai and click this option called Add. So now let us uh, so click this option, create a permit for our Sentinel 2A Chennai. So click S. Yes. So it is loading. It's creating a permit for our Sentinel 2A image. So now we can able to visualize our Sentinel 2A image for Chennai. I've currently opened it. So now uh, let me make some changes to view our Sentinel image. So currently it is like in a, in a dark uh, dark color. So so let's uh, make some change over. Uh, let's make a change for it. So go to the layer section of uh, table of content, contents. So right click, right click the layer called Sentinel 2A Chennai, and click this option called Properties. So in that we're gonna select to uh, navigate to our Symbology section. So in that we're gonna select the stretch type as uh, standard deviation so uh, yes click yes to do you want to compute your statistics yes so now click OK so now we can able to visualize we have uh, we have successfully able to view our sentinel to image so now let us make some changes so go to this uh, option called our right click so in that we can click uh, left click on this particular area so we're going to select uh, bands so we're going to select this particular band called band 4 so i'm going to select band uh, 3 and band 2 so here band 4 band 3 and band 2 represents our true color composite or sentinel 2a image so now similarly let us make a change for it so each time you change band you have to make sure that you have to uh, click this or that is uh, we have to select the stretch type as a standard deviation so right click and go to the property section so uh, statistics do not exist yes we're gonna cl uh, click yes so in that we're gonna select the standard deviation again and we're gonna click ok 
So now we can able to visualize the Sentinel-2 image in true color composite. So we can clearly able to view that. So it is currently in true color composite. So let me zoom into the study region. So we can able to visualize it clearly now. So it is in true color composite. So it is a 10 meter resolution of Sentinel-2 image. Let me get back to Earth engine and show you one thing. So here you can able to visualize it. So we are only exporting this part of our study region. Suppose you want to export a larger part of the study region. You just click this particular uh, arbo eye and you can drag and up to your choice. You can select a uh, lot of bigger boundaries, but make sure that as the size, uh, size of the arbo eye increases, that is the study region increases, the download file size also increase. So uh, let me get back to our RGIS. And similarly, suppose you want to change to a different bands. So I'm going to select an uh, NIR band. So let me uh, left click and I select the band file. So band file is of NIR in Sentinel 2A image. So uh, again, we have to compute our statistics. So we have to right click, go to the properties. So in that, we're going to select this uh, yes. It automatically pops up saying, do you want to compute your statistics? Always make sure that you click yes. So now we can able to visualize that. So stretch type, make sure that you select standard deviation and click OK. So now currently we are, so now we can able to visualize currently our image in uh, NAR. So that is band five is of NAR and band three, band two, it is of our. Uh, so similarly, if you want to change the bank, uh, band uh, combination, you make sure that you click this uh, left click and select band six. So again, you have to make sure that you have to compute that, go to the property. So click yes. So now click OK. So now let me change the band. So now let me change to band six. Band six. So now you can able to clearly able to visualize. Now let me show you the band details of a Sentinel image. So here this is a band for Sentinel 2A image. You can clearly able to visualize here the band five and band six are the visible and near infrared. Visible and near infrared bands. So now let me get back to our uh, ArcGIS. So you can able to clearly visible to visualize the NAR band is very useful in identifying the vegetation uh, features in our study region. And you have to make sure that the Sentinel image is well available only of, from 2015 June onwards. So let me show you that. So you can able to visualize here the Sentinel image is only available from 2015. So it is from June uh, 23. So now let me get back to RGIS. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, download our Sentinel 2A image from Google Earth Engine and visualize in RGIS. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.